How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Upgrades are messing with our inertial skew. Compens Commander. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. And Thane seems like the strong, sensitive, murdering type. You know, those are always great to have around. A real cuddler. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard, I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Jesticars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Jesticars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight-errant, in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. You know about knights-errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires, but your curiosity is quite welcome. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. I should go.
I'm glad we spoke. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone? Staring at walls of metal and plastic. Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment, you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. So if I shot you dead right now, a Drell court wouldn't convict me? You'd be guilty because you chose to shoot me. If my reflexes caused me to draw and fire when I saw your gun come up, I would be innocent. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh. That time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid drill memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. Friend, huh? That's a start. A start? That's... <laughs> intriguing. I will always be here to talk. Hey, got a minute? Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal.
Shepard. Have you Be got easy. a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle Talk of Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. This mission takes me back. Nice ship you got here. Ruby. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See, why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tankborn. What is this? Edie. Anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. <laughs>